Well, good morning, everyone. Um, my name is Kimora Scotland. I'm a urologist at uh, the University of California in Los Angeles. Um, and here I will be um, teaching the course with uh, Dr. I have no disclosures, by the way, with uh, Dr. Ihab Tofiak and Dr. Mohamed Lezwek, who um, neither of which uh, really need any introduction. Um, and what we wanted to do is to talk about ways to perform endourology in a practical way. Next, we will have Dr. Leswick, who will come in and give us multiple tips for endourology. Thank you, Kemora. Thank you for uh, all uh, the colleagues that are are here with us uh, this early in the morning. Uh, so I uh, will try to share with you uh, some tips and tricks of uh, endourology. Uh, but before, I want to invite you to, to, send to, to submit your work to Symposium on Affordable New Technology. It is held the first day of SIU. It was the day before. Uh, and uh, it is uh, a complete session for four hours with lectures and moderated pro uh, post uh, posters and videos. And also there is a competition, best affordable new technologies in neurologies, and the, there are the rules on the website. So I hope to see you uh, next year in uh, New Delhi with uh, your application and your idea. Even the smallest of the, the idea or variation of technique is uh, uh, welcome. Yes, necessity is the mother of, <laughs> of innovation. So uh, how to solve problems in limited resources in, on the urology by being uh, engineers but uh, being engineers, I think, I think it is quality of all human beings, all homo sapiens and perhaps all the, the, the genus before. But to be open-minded, it is the work that we have to do. And uh, uh, don't forget, just uh, uh, when coming here, I met a, a friend of mine. I said, I will invite you to be with, uh, among the innovators panel uh, like, uh, that we did the uh, day before, and he said, I, I am not a great innovator. I said, you have uh, changed the face of uh, urology in uh, Senegal. And this is innovation. Innovation is not uh, invain, uh, inventing uh, uh, a device. This is uh, the more effective to have idea, to optimize what you have, to have the good uh, organization and open-minded. Uh, what I will show you, is, it is uh, teamwork. This is idea gathering by thinking and interacting with friends. This is not just the work of one person. And uh, I have done some workshops in uh, Africa, sometimes many times in Senegal, Mali. And <laughs> you have to be, uh, to innovate. So uh, I was in Mali and uh, they have the, they give me these uh, clocks with a lot of holes in it and during the, the procedure my feet were simmering in the irrigation fluid. They don't have anything to cover it so I have the idea after the third or fourth uh, procedure to, to do this. We have uh, also in the same city we ha they have this uh, large nephroscope 50, uh, 25 French, and we cannot work without uh, the, the ax uh, without the external sheet. So uh, uh, I am used to work with 24 uh, French uh, on plus sheet, and with this one we worked with 30. So I had this idea to adapt uh, uh, the working sheet uh, piece of uh, the. Oh, I apologize. We don't have a laptop here to control. Uh. Can you help us move to the next video, please? No, no. I, w I wanted just to show. Here's the, the, the working uh, piece of the rigid ureteroscope. I adapted to the nephroscope. And there is a hole here. We, cl we close it with the, a piece of glove. And we work with this with the 22 on plat sheet. 
So I was helping a friend doing PCNL and we lost this, uh, we, we didn't have this, uh, this piece, the, light, uh, the, the cable light adapter. So the patient was already on the table and anesthetized. What will you do? We couldn't have one and we couldn't take it from another scope. Will you stop the procedure? So I had this idea to use a small uh, fragment from the Foley catheter. And we adapt it to the scope and uh, it worked just fine. It was so effective that uh, my friend didn't bought another uh, piece adapter. So uh, we are very lucky to have so social media. So now we are no longer uh, uh, alone by ourselves. We can connect with the whole world. And uh, Kimura has presented the uh, more uh, thing to drink virtually. And especially it was uh, uh, stressed during the, the COVID lockdown. So uh, in 2019, I was for one week PCNL in South Africa in Johannesburg with my friend, Professor Ahmed uh, uh, Adam. And uh, we talked about this uh, uh, adapter of the, the scope. And some mo few months after, uh, in, in December, he, I got a call in the morning in a video call. He said, your technique is not working. I tried it. We lost the, the piece just right now, and it isn't working. I, I, I told him, show me the operating table. And I told him, your scope can be adapted, the other scope. And we worked out the, the difficulty, and I was very happy for, for, for the whole week. And uh, I, 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 I helped a friend more than 10,000 kilometers. Yes. So uh, also I was helping a friend and uh, due, uh, uh, the suddenly the rigid reuteroscopy with the ballistic uh, probe and uh, it broke. We didn't have a spare. So uh, what uh, we have to do? So uh, outside the operating room, they were working, they doing some metal work, and I have seen this rivet in the floor. So I had the idea to adapt it to the to the the, the, the remaining road, and it worked, and we continued the, the procedure. But the beauty is, I I, I put it on uh, LinkedIn, and just after a few uh, hours, I think or days, I had this answer from a friend from. Uh, uh, I think Sri Lanka, and he said they are using bicycle probe to do the same thing. They are uh, using bicycle probes. I don't know if you you can read it here. In the bicycle repair shop, and this is great. I just gave an idea, and they receive one back. This is very fantastic. So uh, the. With the, in, in Africa and in, the, in uh, developing countries, the problem is sometimes you are working and the, 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 the equipment stop working. Uh, like uh, you are working with source light and you don't have a spare and it stops. There is no source light. What, what will, will you do? So it happens to, to me and I have the idea to use a smart uh, phone, torch light. We do it like this. Uh, the first time I did it, I think in 2011, something like this. Now there are multiple uh, publications, and in our session, Bantuk, there were many applications using this, even with the, an adapter. You can use also the camera to do cystoscopy. There are many adapters. But uh, what I'm sh uh, showing you is that sharing and uh, brainstorming with friends can uh, produce more. So uh, in 2017 and 18, I was in Dakar and they met uh, Graham Watson. He just got uh, the Albert Schweitz uh, Award. He is a great man. And uh, even he's a senior than me. He began doing what I am doing uh, since uh, the, the first, the beginning of the 80s. And uh, we were discussing and I told him, if you have this problem, you can use the smartphone as a torch, uh, a light, or as a camera. And just a few days after I returned to Morocco, I get this email from him. He said, it works. He was in, 
in uh, Gambia, and uh, he has done the whole procedure like this, supine PCNL. So it is great. So what we learn from this, that uh, brainstorming and sharing idea are great, and it is a way of learning. And also you have to, to hear, even you are senior, you can get some information from someone less experienced than you, and Graham, even with his age, he listened, and he had used the, the technique. And would you believe me if, you t if I told you this, the same day that I received this email, I met a friend, a urologist in Morocco, and I told him, if you had a problem, you can use it. He said, no way, it won't work. I was saying, no, it, you can try it. No, no, I won't try it, it, it won't work. This is just a, a, a way of thinking. We have to be open-minded. Uh, so, uh, uh, for safety guide wire, I always put safety guide wire, guide wire and I think uh, uh, if you are in teaching position, you have to put safety guide wire in your retroscopy and in PCNL. Uh, and how to put it without use, uh, spending any money. So we use a, a small uh, part of the coil uh, housing the guide wire. It have to be a, a, a small one, nine French. We had the nine French. And here you see the insertion of the two guide wire through the, uh, this uh, plastic sheath. You can use also a, f a small feeding tube, eight or uh, 10 feeding tube. Uh, eight will, uh, will accommodate two guide wires, uh, 0 0.035, and 10 will accommodate the uh, 0 0.038 uh, gauge. So uh, one way to, uh, to maximize what you have available is to use uh, uh, another scope in another uh, uh, use. Here I am using the rigid ureteroscope as mini nephroscope, and especially since 2003 or four, I am using it for a second access or third access. So uh, here, uh, progressing in the retroperitoneum, we found the stone in the, the calyx, and it is pushed from the calyx to the uh, pelvis, and it is extracted through the, the other large uh, access. So uh, if you're doing a lot of mini PCNL, uh, uh, personally, I prefer the plastic sheet than the metallic sheet. I think the metallic sheet are a little bit uh, ag aggressive and traumatic, and you have to use a lot of radiation exposure to introduce them. Here we, I, I am using uh, an axis sheet, uh, drinking straw, it is 14 francs, and we have done a lot of uh, cases like this, especially in pediatric uh, uh, patient. I need a basket. So uh, we are uh, at the end of procedure of large stone uh, calculi. Uh, there were this uh, upper pole uh, this calicial stone I cannot remove. I have tried with aspiration, with flushing it with, the, with, the, uh, with liquid, and I cannot manage to move it. It is a limit, the, the, the scope. So I needed a basket or another access. We didn't have one. So what, uh, what uh, will you do? So uh, I had the idea to use this uh, floppy guide wire. We make it into uh, a basket and uh, we managed to remove the stone in the, the video here. And uh, we, we were just lucky to, uh, we, 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 can, we managed to remove the stone. So uh, every time you have an idea, you have to push forward to continue thinking in the same way. So I, have, uh, I managed to do it with the floppy. It is very uh, bulky. Can I use something in the, the, the operating room that, uh, work, uh, that will work in the basket? Yes, we can use a monofilament suture. And uh, we have the idea to use uh, uh, a 2-0 or 3-0 nylon suture. We make 
make it into a basket through a, a, a coaxial or a movable uh, WG pusher. And here in our glove model, removing the stone, and uh, here in a, in a patient. Uh, Kimura, when I reach my time, you, you stop you me, know. because I, I lost uh, track I of the time. Yes. yes. So uh, this is for the, the, the large uh, nephroscope with the large operating channel. How to adapt it to the rigid ureteroscope? I was thinking for a few months how to do it. And uh, lastly, I had the idea to use uh, a 0 0.35 uh, uh, guide wire. It is uh, uh, knotted here in the between this, uh, the, the coils of the, the guide wire. However, it is bulky, so we have to uh, backload it into the, the, the scope. And here in uh, the glove model, this is a glove model for training uh, of uh, stone manipulation endoscopic stone manipulation. And here we found the stone. You can reduce the length of the, the fingers to give more uh, realistic one. But we lift it here like this to give like, uh, the, 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 like a near ureter. We can use it also in flexible uh, cystoscope, but until now I didn't manage to do it for the, the, the rigid ureteroscope, uh, the flexible ureteroscope. So if you, ha you have an idea, I will sh uh, give you my email to, send, to, se to give it to me. So uh, we were uh, doing, uh, during a, s a small workshop, uh, on the pyeloplasty. And just at uh, the, 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 uh, the entry, the endoscopic uh, view wasn't uh, optimal, and we have this bleeding in the parenchymal tunnel. So what will you do? Will you stop the procedure? Will you tamponade? Will you wait until the bleeding stops? So uh, we wanted to, uh, we have the idea to cauterize the, the tunnel, and we didn't have uh, a proper on the uh, electrode. So we use this uh, uh, steel mandrin of the uh, rural catheter, and it works just fine. We managed to, to continue the procedure. Here in the left uh, uh, before and at the end of the procedure, we are outside the kidney, and you see there is no bleeding. And the, uh, if I was alone, I wouldn't have done any uh, uh, cauterization because uh, <clears throat> I knew that uh, when working with the amplitude, it will tamponade. And uh, this is just to show the people in the workshop that it is feasible if, uh, and the, uh, to give some confidence to people that you can do PCNL. In Morocco, people are afraid of uh, bleeding. So uh, another time we have a bleeding, but I didn't have this uh, uh, steel mandrin uh, uh, of the ureteral catheter. Is there an alternative? Yes, there is an alternative. There are many alter There are always many alternatives. So we use a basket, and the 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 electrocautery handle is uh, applied here. And here we are cauterizing the, and you can do also small incision with this, especially if the tip of the, the basket is not so bulky. Yes, so uh, in the mini nephroscope, uh, it is just six French. So how we cannot use this large basket or this uh, ureteral catheter. So I had the idea to use a hydrophilic guide wire This is the same thing, uh, electrode I use also in flexible. So here in the left we have this uh, bleeding, 
and the coagulation with the, the, the guide wire electrode. So to be effective and uh, to learn quickly, you have to learn on simulator. Uh, unfortunately, we cannot uh, have fancy one in uh, my department and uh, in my city. So we had the idea to use a glove as a training for PCNL. The, it is filled with saline and uh, also here we can shorten the, the, the fingers. However, this, uh, for this model, uh, it needs radiation exposure. And I was thinking for many months how to use something else without radiation exposure so we can use it in, in, uh, <clears throat> in uh, meetings. Uh, and uh, I was in a workshop in 2012 in a university hospital in Mar Marrakesh, and it is a teaching hospital, so they had this retro projector. And we had the idea to use light as uh, in uh, shadows play, to uh, the the globe is filled with uh, with uh, with air, and it can be uh, uh, projected on the wall or just in a piece of paper. And uh, another time, I was uh, with a small workshop, and we don't we didn't have this uh, uh, retro projector, so we used the this uh, the light from the smartphone. And uh, like I told you here, the gloves are shortened and we can uh, puncture. And uh, most of the time, uh, people just try two or three times and they can puncture with this model. This model is made for puncture without moving the arm. That's what I do in my uh, routine uh, day. And, uh, and I think it is very effective. Here in my workshop in uh, Mali, The, the great thing about this model is that you, can, uh, you, you are operating at the end of the procedure, give me a glove and you made it on the spot. So for tract uh, dilation, we use uh, a water melon and it is very effective uh, here in uh, Cameroon, in Douala. But, but uh, I, I had a workshop and the, it was winter. In Morocco, it is difficult to find uh, a watermelon in, Mor uh, in the winter. So uh, I, this is my kitchen. I sold this uh, piece uh, of pumpkin for my wife and I had the idea to, to use a mason jar. Thus, we see the progression of the dilation. And uh, it is uh, very good here uh, with the same thing with the winter squash in Mali with butternut uh, squash. And uh, here in 2019 in Eulis, we had uh, used many vegetables here, an eggplant, and uh, uh, we had uh, experimented. But the most effective is the one with hard uh, shell. And uh, uh, you, you should try it. It gives the same feeling, sometimes more difficult than the, the real uh, dilation. So like I told you, you can use a glove uh, to, uh, for endoscopic manipulation of stone. You can learn all, uh, with all the scopes for uh, uh, nephroscope, rigid and flexible ureteroscope, you can basketing, fragmenting, and also uh, with the laser. Uh, so uh, we had the idea to make uh, uh, microscopic uh, uh, ne nephroscopy needle with the pros prostate biopsy needle and with this uh, disposable uh, uh, fiber. So here, here is the needle and uh, we use it in a glove. introduction of the fiber, exploration of the glove, <coughs> and we found the stone and fragmentation.
We are using it spe especially for second access or just to be sure that we are in the calyx where, there is, where the stone is, uh, is there. So uh, sometimes in our countries we had the, the, the equipment, but, but we don't have the small uh, uh, rubber seals. So uh, it wasn't working, and we used the head of the syringe either to take a patch from it or to use it as wall if the, 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 the endoscope allow it. And uh, no more uh, ir uh, irrigation outflow. So uh, for the flexible, we didn't have this fancy uh, seal, so what uh, we will use. So we take the injection port of the serum bag with this uh, rubber uh, seal, and it is very effective also maintaining the, because the progression of the, the, here the basket is very difficult. So it, is, it, man, it limits li the movement also of the, the fiber. How to adapt ureteral catheter to a drainage bag? I never had an adapter. So there are many ways to do it. Either insert it into the, uh, the, the Foley catheter here, or through the, the, this injection uh, port of the serum bag or if it is a P, uh, at the end of P, PCNL, we can take the, the valve of the Foley catheter in the nephrostomy and put it there. So uh, Bernard Shaw has said that progress is impossible without change. And if we cannot change our minds, we cannot change anything. So uh, in the conclusion, I think we had to provide and stressful and supervised teaching and learning, and we have to think to open our mind to an economic use of equipment, and we have to uh, encourage and cultivate and uh, idea and tips uh, and tricks. Uh, so uh, the now it is uh, very difficult for the young, like we, we had learned, uh, personally I had learned like this, say one, do one, and teach one. But, uh, and also we have to liberate ourselves from dogma, and Bob Marley had said, emancipate yourselves from mental slavery. None but ourselves can free our minds. And I have a lot of videos on uh, YouTube, and I thank you. Thank you, Dr. Lezrick. Always, always illuminating. So what we'd like to do now in the last few minutes of the course is to answer any questions that you have and to go through some of these tips again in a little bit more detail for people who, who sort of miss them the first time around. Um, so any questions on from the floor? Hello? Yep. But maybe, maybe I have some questions about the techniques yes, yes, you have yeah. said. Yes, yes. I don't know if maybe it's better to, for you to do the, the tips and tricks or the second part. So what, what I think, yeah, we have limited time left. I want to make sure that the tips that we've shared today are tips that people can take home with them and use. And I know that in, in the time we have, we talk really fast. So if there are any questions about any of the tips that you want us to go back to, we're happy to do that now. And then we're happy to stay a little bit later as well to answer more questions. So go ahead, please. Yeah, so uh, for Mr. Lestre, so uh, when, you, uh, when you show us uh, using the uh, semi-rigid ureteroscope for, uh, for the second axis or third axis, uh, you were not using an axis sheet no. for that? No. All right, so without. But, but uh, I, this I am using it since 2003 or four. So uh, uh, I wasn't uh, using any access sheet. This is just to uh, move the, the stone from the calyx and to put it. But if I have to fragment the stone in the situ, in the calyx, I put uh, uh, a drinking straw. And the drinking straw, isn't that too uh, flexible? Floppy. Yes, floppy? Th this is a good thing. 
it is still flexible and it is a good thing it, it didn't break uh, if you are using fl uh, uh, small uh, plastic access sheet uh, those from uh, cook medical they 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 just broke and quickly sometime at the introduction it yeah. didn't happen with the with the, the drinking straw and what allows you to do with the drinking straw is you can it's more flexible so you can move Okay, from one calyx to the other. Yeah. Very easily. And you place, you place the scope, so you place the guide wire, and you do it over the guide wire uh, until you get into the calyx, and then you remove the, the guide wire. Yes, of I course, guess. yes. Good. Um, for, for the guide wires, I always uh, insist on, uh, with the, my resident and my friends to put always safety guide wire. If you are experienced, you don't need it. And we have seen lots of videos from people here, the experts. But I think if you are in a teaching setting, you have to inculcate this. this. It's better to have a guide wire. It is cheap with the, no uh, money to insert it. I show you many techniques, and you will invent many techniques. And uh, it gives, uh, sometimes you need it once in a lifetime. And, uh, Agree, agree. Yes. That's, that's important. Um, which basket were you using uh, in the image we saw that you were uh, using it for uh, coagulation? Uh, what was the brand of the basket? You used the one that you were with the... I, I think it, it was a basket from uh, uh, Porges uh, or... Uh, yeah, the, the one from Yes, Porges, I think. Coloplast, yes, Coloplast. I am 1.9, I yes. think, No, no, it is a, a, a th a three French. Oh, the, the three French. Three so French. The, the but one, the three French. But yeah. you can use any, one, one anything with, you have. But the one with the tip, metal tip, because not... Uh, yes, right. yes, yes. It but needs really, to any, have a tip. any basket will work as long as, like you said, it's got some metal there. So you can't yeah. use the zero tip basket. But uh, y you won't need it. <laughs> I am showing this this uh, thing. Uh, most of the people I know in p uh, the, the countries in Africa, they are afraid uh, of PCNL. I am teaching PCNL since 1997 in Morocco, and still, just in our last meeting, people in the room I said, ah, uh, be aware, it is difficult. It, there are a lot of bleeding. You need a radiologist, inter interventional radiologist to do some uh, coils or something. I said, no, you can use this. I, I don't feel that you will use it. You will need it a lot. This is just to give confidence. If you have a problem, you have a spare tire. Well, um, one or twice I have, I have used a, 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 my laser to do some coagulation, my coagulation. So yes, it's good uh, to know that. I, uh, I had tried laser. Uh, with the hormium, it is not very effective. But with the trillium, yes. It is very effective doing it. Yeah. Ormium sometimes it gives you more bleeding. And also, uh, we, I don't have access to laser always. Uh, uh, in my uh, root day, uh, routine, I am working a day in this city and another day in this city. And s someone has the laser, the other don't have a laser. And, uh, and, and I know you told me that I will not use it or not need it, but when you were doing the same with the guide wire, I guess that it was a hydrophilic guide wire and you uh, scratch the yes. cover. Yes, just the tip in uh, yeah. of one millimeter in the tip and the, in the tail uh, just to apply the, the handle of with the electrocautery. I use it up. also with the flexible ureteroscope. Good. Thank you. Yes. Wonderful. So the thing I want everybody to leave here with, if possible, is that you know, these things can be done. And it's better to know these tips before you end up in this situation. Um, we will have this. This is going to be, it's going to be live now. Um, but we're also going to have it on the SIU Academy. So when you have time, go back and look through the videos. I know we went through a lot of tips today, and it probably was overwhelming. But that is something that you can do. And then again, as I mentioned, we do have the Endourology Academy. The website is endourologyacademy.org. And you can come to our website. We have step-by-step -step tips and step-by-step -step cases 
for how you can do some of these things. And then um, Dr. Lesrek also has lots of YouTube videos on ways that you can modify your cases um, when you come up with problems, okay? So um, we will end here today. I want to thank Dr. Tofiak and I want to thank Dr. Lesrek. Can I add a comment? Yes, absolutely. Just to be aware, you, you, uh, if we are from a developed country, there, there are regulations, and you have to be aware of this. Uh, in Morocco, the, the regulations are here, but they are not uh, <clears throat> uh, very strong because they know that they, they, don't, they don't give us the, much, uh, the equipment. I will give you an example. S since 2011, now 12, uh, 11 or 12 years, I am helping uh, a, a group of urologists in a public hospital, and they are doing a lot of PCN as all on the urology. And, and until now, they don't have the, the disposable uh, provided by the hospital. They, uh, some people will buy uh, a guide wire, the other will buy a needle, and they gather the thing and they are re-sterilized. So the, the state knows that he don't provi doesn't provide this thing, but we have to be aware of the regulations. Just a warning, yes. Agreed. And then just to end, a uh, couple of things I want to let people know. Uh, you know, we, we're talking about doing endourology and we recognize that not everybody has available lasers. Not everybody has available scopes. So all, some of the things that we're talking about are difficult to imagine. Um, and so um, I just wanted to mention that I'm now the chair of the World Endo Committee with the Endourological Society. And um, we have developed a website called eurogive.org, U-R-O-G-I-V-E.org. And what that is, is it's a portal. So what we will be doing is we will make it uh, so that people can donate equipment that is good use. Um, equipment as, and that other people who need the equipment can get to that website and request it. So for people who do not have scopes and who need scopes, people who do not have lasers, who need lasers, who do not have resector scopes, etc. What we are hoping that in time this will become a forum and a portal for people to have access for free to the equipment that they need to do this kind of work. So um, you know, check out the website, um, check out Endo Urology Academy. As I said, we have videos there. And um, we have just recently completed a, a round for our new fellowships, which will be fellowships that are available um, currently. Um, there's one fellow in, in Africa going to South Africa, and currently one um, fellow in East, Southeast Asia who's going to India. And they will be getting um, a six-month training in endourology. Um, at centers that we are partnering with um, so that for those people who don't have the skills, um, you can learn the skills. Um, we will be giving um, information on the application forms for next year. We just have our two fellows um, who um, we will be announcing in the next coming weeks. Um, but we're hoping to expand this to different sites over the, the next five or so years. So um, just pay attention to that. Again, you can um, find the information on that uh, at the eurogive.org website. Okay, thank you so much everyone for coming and we'll see you next year in New Delhi.